Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to use create effect from in 3D and add separate effect within our 3D effect. So as you can know, Saber FX and Edmund Studio has been created by uh, VideoCompiler.net. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, I am going to create a new composition. So you can put any name as you like for your composition, and I choose a a. 1080p and the duration is OK so I click OK and I am going to create a new text layer and tie in element so for a better result you can choose you could choose a, a ball font to make it uh, look better uh, and I choose to I like to align it in the middle to my composition so the next step is I am going to create a new solid layer for my saber effect and I rename it to saber so I can choose any color but it, does, it doesn't matter at all so click OK so I go to effect and preset and search for saber so click on the saber and click and drag it to my new solid layer so in here we choose uh, our preset to take layer and choose our text element to apply the saber in it so here it is we have created and uh, we have created and we can choose our bracelet you can enter and I place it in saber effect as you like yes so here I choose my uh, replicant so the color I choose uh, blue a little bit blue so I play it. you can see here we have applied our saber and we have created our and go on we have gone to uh, create a new background to make it a better look I should black and put it under our boss layer and go to effort and search in RAM I choose gradient RAM and in here, uh, the top color, I choose a little bit blue and click OK and it is uh, a little bit black. And here we choose to, uh, we can see that the background, so I choose uh, to add right here. And back to our BG background and apply gradient RAM. So you can modify it like this, just click and drag and find the best gradient that you like. So here we have created a new background and uh, uh, element. We can hide it or yes, I, I have it. It's just to hide it. So we have created. So here, here we have created the background and our saber text already. So the next step is I am going to create a new layer for our element 3D. I choose the name for it, element, and click OK. Go to effect video copilot and click on element so our element is using the same text element that we have created so we apply our text element and yes it is uh, text element in here so after we apply it i'm going to extrude it extrude it out i go to change it up and uh, I have extrude it and extrude it a bit and go to my preset and apply black gloss as the material for my element so click OK and I uh, put my element layer under my saber effect and here so I create a new camera I choose 15 millimeter camera and I am going to choose uh, the view that I'm going to, to look to look like uh, for the better result, the saber our saber is uh, have to uh, make it 3D, and we can rotate the camera to see the best view that we like. Mm, the saber effect has to uh, cover our element. So uh, here we move our camera, make the best the best shot, and I could I could I I duplicate my element my saber effect by pressing ctrl d 
and go to oh no I am go to my top view after my go to my top view and then I click on my cyber and make it uh, in the front at the front of my 3d and I choose uh, to luma mat my uh, my cyber effect so I rotate it and I go to my cyber effect and modify my identity density I play with all these three values right here to make sure that I have the best result that I like so you can play with it so that's it mm -hmm. so I go back to my cyber effect at uh, my I open it up and just we going to offset it uh, at the frame zero and and offset it I put it to zero and go to my the, the other frame and punch it to 100 and we, as you play it and you can see that we have created uh, the movement of it so it doesn't look right for our saber the, the, the second of our saber the second saber right here it doesn't look right so I am going to look at it the top view oh I'm going to move it into the right position at uh, my uh, the f my saber right here so back to over to team so here we are we have created the, the right position for both of our saber so um, I'm going to the press to see my offset frame and go to my first saber effect and uh, check out my end offset right here effect saber and find via my end offset uh, where is it where is it in customize core maybe where is it check in uh, close thing distract uh, uh, distortion so flick uh, okay so here it is here so uh, I'll click on the keyboard on the end offset and just drag it to uh, the end offset of my uh, second layer of the uh, saber effect so here 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 so here we are we have created the same end offset position of our light saber effect so the next step is you can create uh, camera movement the camera movement animation for your scene okay you can see right here so it does look pretty cool so we go to our camera and transform turn on the keyframe and go to the, 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 the keyframe as we have created and just rotate it to our what we like to see so here we have created a saber line text with elements 3D. So hope you enjoy it. And the link of the download I have or the download of this project I have uh, I have you can see in the link description and goodbye, see you next time.